Well, hello there, friends. We're returning to the 70s and we're gonna make a classic, Lobster Terminal. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're doing it right now together. Well, hello there, friends. You've been asking for this recipe for a long time. At first, I didn't want to do it because it's an involved recipe, but if you ask so many times, I decide I'm going to do it. So, we, get it. we have to have a live lobster, friends. Live. It's the only way to get them. So, if you don't want to kill a lobster, I don't blame you. I don't like doing it either, but you can't make this recipe. Unless your fishmonger can do it for you, but then, right after he kills it, he's got to put it in hot water immediately. You kill First, I put her in a freezer. She's been in the freezer for about 15 minutes, so she's sleeping now. Uh, and then, we're going to kill her real quick, and then we're going to put her in, uh, in, uh, in boiling water immediately to cook her. And then we're going to put her in ice water to cool it. All right? So, it's a very simple process, and, um, and I'm going to do it quick. And for those of you that don't want to watch, don't watch. Go do something else for a few minutes, okay? For those of you that want to know how to do it, it's very simple, friends. You see right there? This is between the head and the body. There's a line right there, and there's a line right there. It's kind of like a cross, if you will. All you really have to do is put your knife straight down and cross it. And it's dead. And put it in boiling water. Put it in boiling water. And that's all you gotta do, my friends. Put it in water for about 10 minutes. Immediately go get some ice water, because it's gonna take a long time for that ice water to, uh, to cool. And um, after 10 minutes, we're gonna put in ice water, and we're gonna let it cool for 10 minutes in the, in the ice water. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. I'll be back to take it out to put it in the ice water. Okay, folks. After you uh, have it in boiling water, you make sure you have it right there in a nice bath. And this is going to stop the cooking process, my friends. It's very important you do that, okay? Put it in nice water. And, uh, and after that, we're going to cut it in half and we're going to clean it and I'm going to show you how to do it, all right? So we're going to wait about 10 minutes, make sure it's cold. And then I'll take it on a cutting board and I'll show you how to do it, okay? Be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends. It's cold, and uh, so stop the cooking process, which is very important, and then we're going to cook it up and uh, finish it up anyway. So here we go, friends. Now we're going to go back to uh, the, the, the point we started uh, a minute ago, and we're going to put our knife down, and then we're going to cut it in half. Now we have to be careful and make sure the knife is nice and straight, friend, because if your knife is nice, is not straight, you're not going to be able to cut it nice. See, you want to give it a really good, good cut in half. And I do it on a, uh, on a, on a kitchen rag or, or some kind of a towel so then um, uh, it doesn't move all the way around it, okay? So now look. And so when you pick it up on the inside like that, you're going to go, wow, this, what is all that stuff in here? This is uh, the, the tomale. You want to save this. This is beautiful, folks. You can put this in a sauce. So we're going to save it right here, okay? That we want to save. You may not think it looks cool, and, uh, and, you're, and you're right. It doesn't look that great. <laughs> but it tastes wonderful, my friend, so you want to save it. We want to get rid of the stomach sack right there. That we want to get rid of it, the stomach sack right there. We get rid of this guy right there in the corner. Okay, this we clean. Okay, but we want to save the tomale right there. We're going to put it in the sauce, okay? And then we want to clean the... Um, the, the intestines. And normally there's a vein going through. Uh, oh, it goes in that bucket right there. And you see right there? And we're going to get rid of it and see if it's on the other side. And it's not. It's good. It's good. We put it clean. The rest of it is clean. You see? So, what we're going to do now, friends, we're going to take the meat out of there. And you can certainly use a spoon to help you yank it out, but if you do it slowly, it'll come. It doesn't really matter if you break it, because we're going to cut it in pieces anyway, friends. So it doesn't really matter 
if we break it, you see? And, and, and this, we're going to clean it. You see? This, we're going to just take it and we're going to clean it. And then this is going to be a, a, a serving uh, vessel, if you will. You see, there's, uh, there's not much per, uh, per ter, per uh, half, right? So at this point, we want to take the big claw and we're going to use the big claw to clean it. We're going to clean the big claw. The big claw. <laughs> there you go. We're going to take it. Now those I'm going to take and I'm going to clean them. This right there, I'm going to show you how to take the meat out of there, friends. You want to take the back of the knife, not the front of the knife. You'll destroy your knife. And you give it a, bah, my mia, this is a, this is a, a tough one. Let me tell you, it's a big one. It's a big one. I may have to, to take a, a bigger knife. And, and this one is, uh, is giving me a hard time. So we're going to take a bigger knife. We always got a bigger one here, friends. And we're going to take it out. Well, guess what? It's really not participating it, but we're going to get it. We're going to take this out. We're going to get the, the tendon out of there. And voila. It didn't want to come, but it finally came in one piece. Beautiful. Okay? This is a, a two and a half pound lobster, so it's pretty This is hard as a rock. And then we're going to do the same thing over there. We always have the right toy, eventually, to pull the meat out. Try to do it in one piece, but it doesn't matter, because we're, we're going to chop it. You see? We're going to chop it up, friends. And we're going to put it in a sauce. All right? We're going to do that over there. Same thing on the other side. Let's see if this guy does it a little better. There you go. And we're going to do the same thing here. Let's get the cartilage out. And we're going to get it out of there. There you go. All right, so we got one piece here. And where's the other piece? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. All right, here we go. That's not the piece. That's the ice right there. There you go. All right. We're going to go in. All right, friends. <laughs> I'm going to continue cleaning all this. I'm going to chop it up. And when I come back, see, look at that. Look at beautiful meat right there. And uh, I'm going to clean up all this. And then I come back, we'll make the sauce, and we'll do the whole finished product. I'm going to wash them. They're going to be beautiful. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, friends. The shell have been, uh, uh, the vessel we're going to serve uh, the lobster in has been cleaned. The, 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 the lobster has been cut in, in little pieces. You, we want, you want them small. You don't want them too big, because if they're too big, they, um, you're going to have a tough time uh, uh, putting them inside here. So they have to be small pieces. The uh, tomato is right here. We're going to add that to the sauce. So let's start. Let's start. I'm going to do it in two parts, folks, because it's easier for me to do it in two parts. Uh, and so we're going to make the sauce here. And the sauce is a, is a Mornay sauce. With Gruyere, Swiss cheese. Make it with whatever cheese you want. But if you want to do it close to, uh, to, uh, to uh, classic, classical way of doing it, then it would be with Gruyere. All right, we're going we're gonna, to, oh, a lot of people, a lot of chefs don't believe in adding mushroom to a, um, a thermidor. I had a few of them. It's up to you, friends. You don't have to. Just a few sliced mushroom. We're just going to get rid of the water. Uh, I think uh, it's delicious. You don't want a mushroom? Don't add a mushroom. Not a problem. Let's put some salt right away. That'll help us get rid of some of that water from the uh, from the mushroom, right? And uh, and then right there. So we're gonna while those guys are cooking, we're gonna get rid of the water. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's get them going. We're gonna make the sauce right here. And the sauce, friends, is uh, is butter. <laughs> Right there. And I'll write the exact recipe for you so you'll have it uh, underneath the video. It looks like a lot of butter. It's not. <laughs> butter is good for you, friends. Don't worry. And then we're going to saute some shallots. You see, I'm going to make the roux, but I'm going to make a little bit. I don't need all those shallots right here. This is a huge shallot. 
This is a banana shallots. You know, I get those huge banana shallots. They're French. And um, uh, so we're going to saute the shallots a little bit, and then we're going to put a flour, and then we're going to put a hot milk, and, uh, and then we're going to put the cheese. A child could do this with supervision. <laughs> with supervision. Like I said, friends, the, um, the lobster, it's something you... Um, you don't do all, you're not going to do it all the time because it's expensive, okay? That uh, two and a half pound lobster, by the way, that two and a half pound lobster, my friend, besides the fact that it was so expensive, I take a second mortgage on the house, um, it, uh, it only yield nine ounces of meat. Can you believe that? Nine ounces of meat, of, of uh, excuse me, nine ounces of meat and, uh, and, and two and a half pound lobster. That's incredible, isn't it? Uh, so it's very expensive. You can add some shrimp to it if you wanted to, okay? So look, we're going to take the meat right there, and we're going to finish cooking it a little bit, okay? We're going to let them do their thing, and then I'm going to deglaze it with white wine. The sauce, friends. Flour, we're making the roux. we got a roux right there. We're making the flour. And again, I'll write the exact recipe for you so you'll have it. This is our roux. You see? And then we're going to put the milk. Very simple. A child could do this. And then we're going to add the uh, tamale. Some people don't add it in. You certainly don't need to. What else we got? Fresh tarragon. Fresh tarragon. You don't have tarragon? Don't worry. Put a thyme in there. It'll be just fine. Ready. Let's watch for the milk, not to burn. Okay, I'm cooking the flour a little bit here, friends. You see? Let's see what we got here. See, it makes it easy. It smells amazing here. If you could be here, my friends, you would love it, I promise you. Look, look, look. We're going to put the milk in there. You see? And we're going to put the milk. And then, we're going to mix it up really good. And the milk is hot, so it works right away, you see? Now, in this sauce right there, friends, we're going to put the tamale, we're going to put the cheese. Let me get all my equipment right there. I got the Gruyere cheese. I may have to add just a little bit more milk. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I am going to put a touch of lemon juice. Remember, wherever you put fat, you want to put a little bit of acid. It helps, just a little bit. Now look, look, look at this, you see? That looks beautiful, doesn't it? In a minute, friends, I'm gonna do the reduction. I'm gonna do white wine reduction. A little bit of white wine reduction. It smells amazing. Just a little bit of white wine. We're gonna let it reduce. You see, we're gonna add all this to the sauce in a minute. We're gonna put just a touch more milk. Just a touch more milk, friends. You see, I wanted you to see so you can see. It's a little too thick, so you keep the milk handy. And you can also add a little bit of cream. You see, just a little bit. You can see it. It just needs a, just a little bit. That's all. And you see, always keep a little bit of cream on the set. <laughs> Up, boom. That's it, just for extra richness. Now we're getting there, you see? Look, 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 look. Now we're getting there, friends. A little bit of mustard. I'm using a Dijon mustard with the seeds on it. It's called a, a country mustard or Demon mustard. If you don't have that, just use regular Dijon. It's fine. Little bit of cayenne. The wine is reducing, it's looking good. Little cayenne. You don't have cayenne, use a hot sauce. It's okay. But cayenne is traditional. It's a little heat in the background. When I finish, oh, I can smell the mustard. Let me make sure I don't forget nothing. Yeah, don't forget the cheese, Jean-Pierre. There you go. Little Gruyere. Now we got a Mornay. You know what it is, this recipe? I was thinking the other day. It's like a, a macaroni and cheese with lobster. <laughs> and now we're going to take this, friends, this whole reduction right there, and we're going to put it in there. 
So the wine is reduced. Let me make sure it is. The wine is reduced. I'm going to add a little bit of cream sherry. Oh, just a little bit. You don't have it? Don't put it in. <laughs> That's really simple, right? I, I know I always have extra sauce, but I like better to make extra than not enough. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a book. <laughs> little cognac. Same thing. You don't have it? Don't put anything else. Cognac, he can't replace it, friends. I hate to tell you that, but he can't replace it with nothing else. If you don't drink alcohol, don't put it in. Don't worry. You don't miss it. You don't drink it, right? And then, right there, my friends, we're going to finish it up with the whole thing. Right? They would say, what do I replace it with? Nothing. Nothing, my friends. You don't need to replace it with nothing because you don't drink it. Now, if you need a little moisture, you can add a little stock. You could add like a little uh, chicken stock. You could add a um, little vegetable stock. You can add a little seafood stock if you add it. We're going to let this cook for a second. I'm going to let it reduce just for a second. Let it get thick just for a minute. And then I'm going to fill up my shell. And then I'm going to put more cheese on the top, okay? And that's all there is to it. So we're going to wait a minute just for this to reduce a little bit to come back to a boiler. All right, we're going to wait a second. I'll be back in one second. Okay, so as you can see, friends, it reduced enough. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and actually, you know what? Let me not change much of the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Because I don't want it to be too messy when I go in there. And the pot is quite hot, so let me try to figure out a way to do it correctly. Here you go. Right there, friends. So now this is a, this is a little time consuming if we want to take the time to do it right. And uh, we want to make sure there's enough for both of the meat. I know I'm going to have plenty of sauces because I always make extra sauce. You know what we need to do here with the extra sauce, friends? We bake a little macaroni. Yeah. We bake a little macaroni in here because we have definitely extra sauce. Right? We'll, be, we'll uh, bake a little, uh, we we'll cook a little macaroni. And uh, we do a lobster macaroni and cheese with this right there, my friends. And this is going to be amazing. Fill it up the maximum that you can. And don't worry about it because we're going to take it out of the the cooking uh, vessel, and um, we're gonna cook it out of there, take it out of there, and serve it on a nice platter. So even if this cooking vessel looks a little messy, which it does more than I like, it's okay. Now we're gonna put the, um, uh, I got Parmigiano Reggiano, Parmigiano Reggiano right there. And I also have some more Gruyere that I uh, shredded thin. Extra Gruyere, you see? And then we're going to put it into the brawler. Now, if you made it in advance, it's been in your fridge, and it's cold, you want to bake it. You see? Now, if it's hot like it is right now, all I want to do is just get it golden brown on the top. So that's why I'm just going to brawl it. So remember, if you eat it right away, brawl it. If you're going to make it in the morning and at night you're going to have dinner, then you want to bake it. And you want to bake it until the in internal temperature with a digital thermometer is about 145, 150, which is the temperature you can eat at. If you don't want it hotter than that, because then you can't eat it hotter than that. All right, my friends? We're going to pop them in the oven, and then we'll come back with we'll serving them in a platter when they're nice and beautiful golden brown, all right? And this, I'm gonna make macaronis. And it'll be delicious. Lobster macaroni and cheese. Be back in a minute. Okay, friends. You see, the brother doesn't take very long. They don't take very long at all, my friends. They're gorgeous, they're beautiful. And I'm glad I got some left for the mac and cheese. That's gonna be my after dinner. Uh, let me take a spatula. And then I'm going to put them in the platter. They're hot. Be careful. So, you know, this morning, I did those, this, did those uh, beautiful carrots. 
on the stem, and I had the, uh, the, 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 the leaves, the leaves, the frown, whatever you call them, of the, uh, of the, uh, the carrots, and, uh, and I'm going to put them as a base. That's how I'm going to serve them. You see, my friends? Look, look, look how beautiful that is. Look at this. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, the whole thing is very hot. Very hot, very hot, very hot, very hot. we got to be careful. we got to be careful. We don't want to disturb it. We don't want to disturb it. Let me see. Now, Pierre, how are you going to do this? I do it this way. I do it this way. I do it... Uh, you know what? I'm going to make them look at each other. What do you think? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe yes. There you go. However you want to do it. Oh, mamma mia. Look at this. So, friends, I'm not going to... Oh, you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of a, a green in there. This is a, a decoration green. But there is a, a tarragon in there. So put a little tarragon because we want the tarragon. Maybe a little uh, a lemon in there. Just uh, thing. And friends... I'm not going to eat it right now because I promise you, this is very hot. I'm going to clean this up really good. I'm going to take some photos, and then I come back, and I'll get into it when it's not so hot so I don't burn myself. So I'll be back in a minute. They smell amazing. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, friends. You see, we laid them out a little different when we did the thumbnail for you guys to see it, and I like it. I like it like that. It's like an open lobster. <laughs> hey. The best part, my friends, is uh, I got to test it. And you see, it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at that sauce. You see, it's not, uh, not too liquid. It's perfect. Uh, it's, it's perfect. Eh? Why am I taking a big bite like that? I'm not going to be able to talk. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. My friend, I have a big bite. Mm. It is amazing. Mm. You can test the. Mm. I love to enjoy that. You can test the uh, the uh, the cognac. Mm. A little bit in the background. The cheese, the everything is there. It's fantastic. Remember, making in advance, and at the last minute, just pop it in the oven and finish cooking it. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, my friends, and ring that bell. Thanks for watching.